Hello everyone, Robert Saunders here, and today we're going to start a brand new video series talking all about the Dell Automation platform. If at any time you need to go further and you want to see more of this in your own hands, from your own laptop or desktop, automation.dell.com forward slash catalog. You can start taking a look at all of the curated outcomes that we're, we have available for all of our customers, and you can look at them at yourself. So again, automation.dell.com forward slash catalog, and the link will also be in the YouTube uh, details here below. But for me, I'm going to log in here to automation.dell.com to one of my portals that I already kind of have pre-built here. I'm going to browse over to the catalog, and I'm looking at now a few things that are actually still coming out here in the future, one being Red Hat. But right now you see all of these cards that are available. I'm going to go into Dell Private Cloud for this conversation. Also, you saw Native Edge. You saw AI Solutions. It's all part of this overarching umbrella of the Dell automation platform. So here I have some more details on Dell Private Cloud uh, ecosystems. I see OpenShift. I see VMware. I see another one there that's available as some testing environments that we've been doing here internally. So here, I drill into the details of the actual Blueprint offers themselves. Now, there's four Blueprints on the left there for deployment, for node remove and add to a cluster, and a node restore. Now, you may ask, what's a node restore? A node restore takes one of the power edges and it returns it back to a factory state. Why is that important? This is important because if I had a node running with VMware, and maybe tomorrow I want to move it over to a Red Hat cluster, I simply do a node restore first after I've done a remove from the cluster. I then do a node restore, and then I add it to the next ecosystem. That is the beautiful power, or one of the beautiful pieces of power that we have in the Dell Automation platform. It's very, very cool. And you'll see the same pattern through the blueprints here as I step through them, no matter what outcome it is that we're looking to try to achieve. I'll go right back in, and then I'll go over to the OpenShift one here. Not public yet, yet, it'll be public in a few more weeks, so you'll see that. Again, if you went to automation.dell.com forward slash catalog, you'll see it there just in a few short weeks. Now what I can do here is I can download these blueprints directly to the orchestrator from the catalog. Now the orchestrator, also worth noting, the orchestrator and the portal is offered as a SaaS offer from Dell, and it's also an offer that we can deploy on-premises. The portal and the orchestrator work together either as a SaaS offer or as an on-premises offer, just depending on, depending on the use case and the customer, how we deploy it in their environments. So now I'm going to flip over here. We'll look at Native Edge. We see that all of this, and none of this is new here. The Native Edge offers have been around for a long time. That was the building blocks that we began when we started this journey with the Dell Private Cloud. And then, of course, the AI solutions also offered there. So now I'm going to close this out, and I'm going to go to my on-premises uh, orchestrator that I already have here. So first I'm going to click over to the Assets tab. First from, actually from the portal here, I see the Assets tab. I see one asset. What is that? That's a PowerEdge R660. So 16G or greater for this platform right now. That's what we bring, can bring in to the purview of the portal and the orchestrator from a Dell Automation Platform perspective. And I go to Add Assets. And you see there, too, I have Compute and Storage. This is the same place, and I'll have more videos on this, where we can onboard storage. Right now, we can onboard PowerStore. All of the Dell offers are coming here very soon, and we'll be able to pull them in here and manage all of them accordingly. So for now, we're just going to pull in a couple more R660s. So how do I do that? I can do this automated with a JSON, or for this demo, I'm actually going to show doing it manually by adding a service tag, IP address. I'm going to reuse the credentials because my credentials for these two iDRACs are exactly the same. That makes it super easy. I added them, I clicked onboard, and I wait just a few minutes here, and the assets will quickly be onboarded, not only to the portal, but also over here to the orchestrator. So now I go to the orchestrator view. Again, this is the, a version running on-premises in our labs. I go to inventory, infrastructure, and there I see all three nodes now that are ready for provisioning. Now, 
if you go to the next videos or some more that are be coming here, you'll see what I can do with these power edges, making clusters, making ecosystems. However, I'd like to do that. They are at my fingertips now to put them into an environment of my choosing. And I can also repurpose them, as I mentioned. Again, automation.dell.com forward slash catalog. You can take a look at this and you can read what we're building here right now. And I really appreciate everyone watching. Thank you.